Now, don't get me wrong. As a wrestling fan, there is a time and there is definitely a place for nostalgia pops. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, bringing back Goldberg is an example to me of a nostalgia pop, and I'm fine with that. It had also been well over a decade since we had last seen Goldberg in WWE, and also knowing that that run was going to be very short. So it was going to be what it was, and I would just enjoy it for the time for what it was. I find it crazy, though, to classify something as a real nostalgia pop when the nostalgia was only like two or three years ago. To me, nostalgia means nostalgia means something from the somewhat distant or really distant past. Not something that just recently happened in the same decade or just a couple of years ago. And now I know I'm going to be dicky downer here. And I know that a lot of you are all giggly tits about the S.H.I.E.L.D. reunion. Sierra, Hotel, India, Echo, Lima, Delta, S.H.I.E.L.D. And you're throwing a fist, and you're throwing a fist, and everybody's getting fisted, and everybody's loving every minute of it. But I see through the WWE scheme here. I'm not falling for it. I'm not going to be fooled by it. I'm not buying this crap. I'm not shoveling it down. You want to enjoy this? Cool, whatever. At this point in time, who cares? Because honestly, you don't have a lot to really latch onto. You don't really have a whole lot to hold on to. So, there you go. It's something. It's something that you've tried to convince yourself was great and awesome a couple years ago, so maybe it could be great and awesome now, and maybe you realize it's not going to be a long-term thing anyway, so it is what it is. But what it really is is this. is Number one, it's the fact that with Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins, they force these guys, they push these guys, they thought these guys were going to be something big on their own as baby faces, and they ultimately rolled craps. They ultimately stunk up the joint. I'm sorry, that is just the way it is. These guys didn't really latch on as baby faces. They really didn't get to that level where the amount of energy and resources invested by the WWE into these characters should have potentially gotten them. So, because they weren't really working on their own as singles guys, we had to bring them back together because we thought the concept of that was going to be pretty cool. Because honestly, instead of doing something new, instead of doing something different with them or something better with them, we had to go back into the old bag of trips because that's the only way WWE knows how to operate now. The vast majority of the time, the only time anything is close to remotely good, it's something from the past or something part-time. So throwing together Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins is just another example of going back to the well of something that once kind of worked and hoping that it will work again. That's exactly what this is. And then as far as the Roman Reigns component, this is nothing more than a clearly pathetic attempt to get people to like Roman Reigns. Period. The thought being is people get caught up in the nostalgia of something from three flipping years ago. And he's with his boys, Ambrose and Rollins, and they're the shield and they're finding justice and all this other hot garbage. And since we're trying to kill time until it's him versus Lesnar at WrestleMania 34, we're trying to potentially create some goodwill when we have him win maybe the 2018 Royal Rumble setting up that match. This is nothing more than a pathetic attempt in my eyes to get Roman Reigns some cheap pops, to get some people to like him. Instead of doing something better with this character, different with this character, newer with this character, fresher with this character, or rolling with him, giving people a real reason to hate him, they still try to go against it. In this particular case, they're doing that by, again, going back to the well of just a couple of years ago. Because what the hell would we know how to do anything new or different? Let's go back to crap that kind of worked, and let's hope it works again. It's pathetic. It's also kind of pathetic from the standpoint of you look at it and you see Ambrose, Rollins, and then Reigns. This whole thing of kind of throwing the shield together is kind of forced. This is type of thing that, like I said, you would usually not want to do it so quickly. You'd want it to be more nostalgia, more time elapsed. So it's really, really a big deal when these guys do it. Not to say it's not kind of a big deal. And clearly, obviously, the fans are going to gravitate to this because, again, what the heck else do they really have to gravitate onto? But knowing, and you could just tell the way this is all being planned out, that this is kind of being forced, that now you're throwing Braun Strowman into the damn mix with the Miz Taraj, 
It's clearly like the WWE came up with the concept, well, we need to get Roman Reigns more love, so let's lump them together with Ambrose and Rollins, who really haven't worked as baby faces, so hopefully this will help them too, but more importantly, this will hopefully really help Reigns get even more love, which ultimately is going to backfire and not work at all, and we're just going to make up a lot of this crap on the fly. It's just ridiculous. I'm not buying it. They can sell it to me. I'm not buying it. I see right through this crap. They failed with Ambrose and Rollins as baby faces, no matter how much they tried for a variety of reasons. So they had to align them with each other because they figured that's the only way it was going to work. And to be fair, they were probably right. And now they're taking Roman Reigns because all they're trying to do is kill some time until he gets to Lesnar at 34 and trying to get him more love from the adult male fans, which isn't going to happen. So why even bother trying at this point? By going back to some nostalgia pops for something that wasn't all that nostalgic all that long ago and really wasn't all that great. It was good, but let's not get carried away with the, one of the best factions of all time, hot garbage. But this is the WWE of today. They're going to try and shovel you shit and tell you that it's something sweet. No, my friends, Dookie is Dookie. And I hope you're not falling for it because... I'm not falling for it. Sierra Hotel, India, Echo, Lima, Delta, Shield. Ah, we've been there. We've done that. Can we do something new and different? It's just a thought. And if we have to go to these lengths, which is what they're doing to try and get Roman Reigns more loved, isn't that maybe a greater indication that you have a bigger problem here and that your new Cena 2.0, your new prop, isn't really working the way you need him to work and that it may be time to rethink things and do something different with him? Going back to the well of the past isn't going to work. Continuing to fight the grain and then spinning the propaganda and talking about we're in the reaction business and that's all that matters is nothing more than complete and total hot garbage. Hot garbage, just total hot garbage. And this whole Shield reunion, I'm sorry. Enjoy it if you want, that's fine. I'm not going to, don't expect me to. It is nothing more than trying to get Roman Reigns more loved hot garbage.